week after the fall of Da Nang, the war came to Saigon. A South Vietnamese pilot defected. He abandoned his mission in midair and bombed the presidential palace. And about an hour after the bombing of the palace came the imposition of a 24-hour curfew. It was announced on Vietnamese radio and on loudspeakers very noisily in the streets in the center of Saigon itself. When the announcement came, people poured out of the shops, the offices, the businesses in the center, and they're now jamming the streets on their way home. It's absolute bedlam. Washington wanted to know the mood of the city, but official embassy reports only gave the good news. I got a phone call at my villa one night from State Department. They said, look, we don't trust the reporting coming out. Would you please send us separately a telegram describing what you see as the psychological atmosphere there on the ground, in the embassy and out on the streets? And I said, I'll do it. Uh, I'll file it through my USIA channel. I said, but 24 hours, Graham will have read it, and that will be the last one you're going to get out of me, only because he will have stopped me. We need that. So I filed it. Uh, the last line, as I recall it, of the cable was indicative of all that preceded it in the cable. There is fear out there bordering on panic.